a lot of times in the shop, you end up making a project that sits on the shelf, collects a lot of dust. Here's a project that is really useful, a nice screwdriver that you can use just about every day, and it's pretty simple to make. I'll show you how to make that here. We've already cut the blank to size. We're going to mark the centers of both ends. Simple center finding tool with a pencil, and then a center punch to mark the center. Now to mount this, we're going to start out by mounting the drive center in the tail stock, a drill chuck in the head stock, and a 5 8 inch brad point bit into the drill chuck. Then by using the center points from before, can mount it between the center and the point on the drill bit. We're going to bore to a depth of three and three quarters, which I've marked with a piece of tape on the drill bit. I'm going to turn the lathe on, I'll support the workpiece with my left hand, advance the quill with my right, and bore to our depth of three and three quarters. maxed out the travel of the quill. I'll back it out. Move the tailstock forward. And continue drilling. Now with a hole in the blank here, it's very difficult to mount a traditional cup live center centered into that hole. So the solution is a cone live center which will center nicely into that hole we've already drilled. If you don't have a cone live center, it's very easy to make one. We we'll give you complete instructions inside Wood Magazine. Okay, now we'll mount the drive center into the headstock, the cone live center into the tailstock, and then the blank between the centers with that cone inside the hole. Now we're ready to turn. Okay, I'll use the roughing gouge here and a speed of about 1800 RPMs to rough this down to a cylinder. I was using about 500 for the drilling, about 1800 for turning. With the roughing gouge to rough out a spindle, I'm going to start with the, the handle low, rubs on the back of the bevel against the wood, then I raise the handle up just until I get a shaving cutting, and then progress down the piece. Each time I come back and do the same thing, lay it in on the back of the bevel, raising the handle up, and moving across. A lot of times when you see me turning, I go a little bit quicker and I do that action a little bit quicker, but I am doing it every single time. Perfect. The screwdriver has a brass furl on the end. We'll need to measure for that. Here's the brass furl for the one I'll be making. Use a pair of vernier calipers. Measure its length, and then I'll transfer that to my workpiece. We'll use the vernier calipers with the lathe running 
pointed down, rested on the tool rest, describe a line for the length of that brass furrow. Now we'll use those vernier calipers again to measure the inside diameter of the furrow and use that with our parting tool for the diameter on the piece. Now I use the parting tool with the calipers. I'll work in small steps here to reduce this diameter until the calipers fit. Perfect. Now I can finish parting the full length up to my line that I scribed. To help that furrow go on a little bit easier, you can just chamfer the edge just a little bit. I'm going to use a skew. All I'm going to do is put the point right up there to the edge at about a 45 degree angle. And then I'm just going to raise the handle, create a nice little chamfer. That will help that brass go on there real easy. Now we'll take this brass furl, we'll fit it onto the tenon that we turned. It's okay if you need to sneak up on that a little bit. You want it to be a good tight fit that you can just barely press on there a little bit. Then we'll drive it home the rest of the way with the mallet on the bench. Perfect.